Hello and welcome my blazed boink machines. How are you doing this wonderful day? It's SJB here and we are talking about... M mortars? M mortars? Chris! What are you doing with mortars right now? Why are you on resort? Why is everything over in this bundle over here? Well, we've decided to try to do a two mega pops mortar challenge. Now this is one of those things where I have no idea whether or not this is possible. Zero idea whether or not this is possible. All I can do is give it my best and see what happens. Uh, my problem here is that clearly a mortar start is not really a good way to play the game. Ooh, get some extra pops here, Chris. I don't know if every single uh, pop's going to matter here or not, but got to try for it. Um, and what I'm going to try to do for you guys, I want to see if we can get a two mega pops with a mortar. Now, two mega pops means you have to play on chimps mode. You have to play a real chimps game, so there are no continues or anything like that. Um, so if I lose, I freaking lose. All right, I know, that's super sad, but it's it's just a fact of life. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to see if we can get two million pops with a single tower. We can still use support towers like overclocks and other junk like that, but the main thing is using a single tower. That one tower has to get two million pops. Now, on Chimps mode, there's about 2,043,000 pops total, which means we're only allowed to lose about 43,000 pops in their entirety throughout the entirety of a 100-round game. Oh, boy. That sounds pretty terrible, doesn't it? It kinda, kinda does, Chris. So uh, all we can do is give it our best and see where we're at, because right now we're at 500 pops, woo! Really making some uh, some strides here. If you'd be so kind to support SJB, the best way to do that is by clicking this creator support section and then typing in a quick SJB. Thanks so much. A rapid reload next, but here's the big problem. The top path upgrade does not pop black balloons, at least not right now. So if I have to build something that pops black balloons, this could be pretty brutal for our entire uh, strategy here. It's going to lose a lot of pops very, very quickly. But it's kind of the way I have to do it right now, because if I go for a heavy shells upgrade, I don't think that the artillery battery and pop and all can actually continue through and get the 2 million pops necessary. I think we have to go for a top path uh, mortar. But the nice thing about the top path mortar is that fourth tier mortars will have black popping power. But for right now... Of course, this is pretty brutal. All right, let's see if we can even survive here um, with some micro, with some mo, maybe with good micro, we might be able to survive. All right, at the very back here, bam, shazam, we pop around 20, but that's only the first set of blacks. And that was pretty brutal, actually, it took me five tries to take that down. Good news is, shell shock is available now, and I believe that we can shell shock black balloons as well. Um, and of course, we can still pop whites, which is not a big deal, and... We also have to watch out for zebras, though. All right, here's our first set of blacks. We cannot shell shock them. Dang. That freaking sucks, man. All right. We're going to have to work through this. So here's already some major issues. I don't know how to deal with this, but look look at these blacks. I mean, you can only do so much here with this, and then you definitely have to micro in the back back here. But it looks like that wasn't actually that bad, at least for now. And now we don't have any camera detection. So here's the good news. 26. Oh, man. Oh, man. The good news is easily destroyed by the frickin' bad news. The good news is, is that everything that's not a black or a zebra is actually going down super duper easy. The problem is, there's too many frickin' blacks and zebras that come out against us, and microing through these things is obviously tricky, but not impossible. It takes a lot of effort. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it. Nice, all right. All right, here's another weird issue for us. Lead balloons. Check this out. So if I actually wait until all the lead balloons are kind of right where I need them to be, and I go for a blow, blow, I go for a blow, I go for an explosion, it does work out. But now look what happens when I check out round 30 here, uh, and I just kind of leave it where it is, and I don't try to micro it all. Check out what happens. Some of them are not going to pop into yellows, they're going to pop into blacks. Well, what the heck is going on? Why is this happening? Well, it seems like the shell shock part of this guy allows you to randomly hit one layer instead of multiple layers, like the balloon buster would do. And that allows us to make black balloons instead of popping down to that true layer like we'd want it to be. Dang, dude, round 31 freaking sucks my balls right now. Look at this, blacks and zebras up the wazizzle with regen zebras in the back too! Dang. All right, this might actually be our final, our final nail in the coffin for this strategy for right now. Uh, it's pretty brutal here. All right, we're gonna try to micro in the back back here already. Oh boy, that's not good. 
I've already got to break out the glue right now, and what we're going to do is we're just going to glue with a 1-1 one, one glue gunner. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to just slow them down a little bit. I want to make sure it's going through the layers so I can actually start to pop these guys, mostly with the mortar, with just a little bit of support from my other towers here. Slowing it all down, actually allowing this corner to actually do all the damage is pretty much perfect, except when I can't pop the black layer to originally start here. No, 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 no. Oh. I can make that work. I can do that. Okay, I'm losing kind of a lot of pops, but this strategy is actually working to, at the very least, survive. Um, I've got two glue gunners here to slow everything down. I've got the mortar doing still a lot of the pops on the back, but not all of them, of course. And then uh, I've got a crossbow here to do a lot of the camera popping power, because I don't have any camera detection right now um, at all, besides this guy. Uh, and I've got another random dart monkey up here, because those couple blacks end up sneaking through every once in a while. And I'm really hoping that this guy doesn't end up popping uh, BFBs later on in the game, because if he does, I'm going to have to buy a heli pilot just to stop that from happening, and that's going to be pretty awful. But for now, we are close to our big one. Only $4,000, even though it's kind of problematic to watch billions of black balloons coming through here. So far, these guys have only stolen about 1,000 pops or so, which isn't the end of the world. But 6,000? shows you that I am not dominating in any way, shape, or form here. And we've got to be careful here because I've got a lot of random other balloons coming in here. And sometimes it's best to just sacrifice um, down here uh, for a little bit while I kind of let things catch up. Oh my god, look at that red balloon. That, that could easily take me down if I was not paying attention here. Luckily, I'm freaking paying attention. All right, black balloons, zebras, everything's going down here. Not easily, but it is going down. You'd be amazed at how many blacks and zebras come out on all of the 30 rounds. I, I just was not used to that, I think. I, I don't know. And then rainbows, the problem with them is that if I don't pop them perfectly, I go straight down into a zebra layer instead of going down to a black and white layer, which is pretty problematic as well. Luckily for us, we're still kind of surviving for right now, and I am close to my biggest one, but a lot of pops early game are going to something else, and that that's not fun to deal with. Oh, we got another major issue here. A frickin' Moab. All right. Well, in case you wanted, wanted to know, a thousand pops on this puppy. Almost 2,000 pops on this puppy. Glue gunners don't have anything yet, and this guy's got 13. But now we have to figure out how the heck we're going to pop a freaking Moab. What? All right, I hate that I have to do this, but I think this is probably the only decent way to do this without stealing pops for the rest of the game here. I'm to, I have to spend a full $1,730 on a uh, heli pilot here just to get the decent amount of Moab popping power that I need to make this happen. Uh, there's really not any other tower that I can think of that would be a decent amount of bow popping power while also still being able to uh, kind of not get popping power later, right? And that's kind of my major issue here. So uh, we still have some time here. I would really like to pop this before we hit the glue gunners, though, because that would mean um, I get to actually glue these guys and take my time with it. It looks like we do end up getting that. And let's get the heli pellet out of the way here. Let's lock them in place over here for a second. And boom, we do get it. All right. All right, so let's lock him in place over here as well. And we got to get back in action with this border because I need this freaking biggest one. Or big one. I just need the big one. Like, soon. But now everything that comes out is a black balloon. It's awful. All right, here's another issue for us. Uh, I did not have enough camo detection. Um, I could buy a village, but I think I'd rather sacrifice whatever this amount of balloons is so I can get a biggest one, or big one, a little bit quicker. So the problem is obviously a lot of stuff right now, but I'm hoping that um, somehow I can figure out how I'm going to pop all these camos without spending too much money. Holy crap, it actually just worked. It just freaking worked. That's beautiful. All right, now check this out. Check this out. We're going to wait a quick second here. We're getting ready to get a big one. This is going to be the game changer for us. Now we can really pop some balloons. Woo! Hot diggity dog. All right, now we need camo detection so we can actually pop the camo balloons here. And things should actually be going pretty good now for quite a while. Even though we had a very, very rough start here. About four or 5,000 pops lost. Um... I don't see us having too many issues long term. Check this out. This is reinforced ceramic coming out. The only thing that's bigger than a reinforced ceramic is a Moab. So I know that every single balloon that comes out against me for the next, like, foreverness is probably dead. Except for Moabs. But we gotta wonder, is this guy gonna be good enough against Moabs just as he currently is? He might be. Alright, 49 went down quite breezy. Let's look at the pop count here. It looks like we're getting, I think, 8... I mean, it depends uh, when I'm not popping other balloons. Looks like I'm getting about nine-ish pops per shot, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously, it's not going to take down a Moab or anything like that right now. But with a little bit of tweakage, maybe. All right, so here we go. We're going to try to... I'm going to focus on these balloons first. This is going to be a large chunk of popping power real easy. And we're going to try to just big one clean these things up. Yeah, all right. Not too bad. And honestly, I think if I overclock this guy, it might be enough to fully take down even a Moab class balloon without any assistance. Which would be pretty fan freaking tastic for us. All right, our first overclocking of the big one. Let's see what happens here against a Moab class balloon. 
Um, we got multiple of them coming out right now, so this means if we can't pop the... Ooh, that's pretty good! Oh, that's awesome! Now, the only thing we have to worry about now is reinforced Moabs and BFBs, which are still pretty beefy, so... Yeah. So let's try alchemy... Alk... Alking him. Alking him as well, and see if that's gonna help out at all. I did kind of put him near a lot of my other towers, which I wasn't really thinking too far ahead on. Which kind of sucks, but maybe this will give us a little bit of extra edge here, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um... And we're definitely going to put him closer to the more than the, the, the Dart Monkey over here. So, yeah. Not great, but not horrible. I love watching these big balloon levels that are normally kind of problematic. Because, like, it just it gets absolutely schlabbernocked. But the Boabs are still kind of just lame to watch. It just feels like they, they exist for too long. Even though it really feels like it makes sense that they exist that long against something that's designed to only pop balloons. And this thing is still freaking popping Boabs. Also, the overclock, as you can tell. Look how long it's lasting. Almost! Yes, 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 the entire time! That means we only need one overclock to power this guy up for the rest of the game here, at least as a fourth tier. Once we get to fifth tier, we're gonna have to change that out a little bit. And to save up for a fifth tier, we need $38,880 here. That could be painful. I realized there was a slightly easier solution than going for a full-on overclock, even though we had the money for it. We could also go for a Moab glue. So I decided to go for a Moab glue. We're gonna put this guy on strong. And, ooh, I went up another, ooh, look at that. I went up a level here. That, that happens very ill often these days. And now this should actually be possibly good enough to even take down BFBs and such. Let's see what happens. All right, Biffub, you just popped. Now we, we, we glued most of them. We did not glue all of the Moabs. Doesn't seem to matter too much. We still pop them all. Dang, even BFBs are not a big deal for the big one. But I keep spending all of my money just, like, getting a little bit more stuff. I really need to get that big boy here. $38,000. 30000 more. That's probably not going to happen until probably past round 80. Maybe right before. Our first reinforced Moabs. And these guys actually do also go down. All right, so the next... Anything that... You know, the thing is, is it doesn't matter if three Moabs come out or 30 Moabs come out. We're not really hitting our pop limit as far as this mortar is concerned. That's why I say no worries. Because if we can pop that at all by itself with no assistance, it means that I don't care if there's three or 30 of them coming out. I will still be able to pop those guys. Of course, you can't eventually reach your pop limit. But in most normal rounds, in most normal situations, you won't. So it just doesn't matter. Luckily for us, we're about to break our first 100,000 pops here. One twentieth of the way to two mega pops. But again, we can look at our other guys and say, you know what? We're not doing too bad. 4,500 pops, 5,000 pops is not a big deal in the grand scheme of things when I have 43,000 extra pops to work with. We're coming up on our 200,000th pop, one-tenth of the way there to our two mega pops. Seems scary, but a lot of the pops are in the end game, of course. Um, but luckily for us, we're only $10,000 away from our biggest one, and that is going to be a game changer, guys. I th I'm really hoping that he can solo all the way through to round 100, but I don't think he's going to be able to beat round 100 by himself, so we're going to have to save some pops to be able to get something that's going to pop the bad layer, allowing us to pop all of the insides there. I'm also a little bit worried about DDTs. I don't think they're going to be a huge problem, uh, but even a biggest one is not all powerful, guys. It's very, very big. It's huge. So huge. The hugest. But it still might not be big enough. Just to kind of show you what I was talking about really quick earlier, where I said it doesn't matter if there's one BFB coming out or seven BFBs or 30 BFBs coming out. It really doesn't matter too much. Um, this is round 75 here, which is obviously pretty beef-tastic. We've got a lot of BFBs, a lot of bows, a lot of balloons on the screen. And the biggest one still... Holy crap! I was wrong! Uh-oh, we got to get these pops going. Oh my god, I was wrong. Maybe not completely, utterly wrong, but not, not perfectly in my right sense here. All right, we're going to have to micro a little bit. Ooh, 75 is brutal, dude. We need that biggest one. Stat. Luckily for us, not getting much pop stolen, and we do survive. First of all, I think the reason why the, all those things snuck through was because I only have a crap. I don't know what, what I was thinking, but I got a glue soak a Moab glue, which makes no sense. I don't know why I would do that in this scenario. It just, it's, it's just kind of silly. Um... And that meant that a lot of the Moabs that normally would get Moab glued did not get Moab glued. And I think that's what caused most of the issues. But anyways, here it is. Quarter of a million pops and the biggest one. Now, the nice thing about this guy is that he is obviously bigger, but he also stuns Moab class balloons. And that could end up being the real game changer at this point. Once these guys get a little bit closer to the middle here, you can see stun, 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 stun. It just gives you more time to pop them. So as long as you don't run into any weird pop limit action or anything like that, we have enough stunning power to stun possibly every single type of loot in the game. 
The only ones that might be somewhat tricky, maybe something like a Reinforce, oh my god, or a Bad Blue. It's the only thing I can think of that would actually be a major issue. This is the first example of something that we will see very, very soon. Reinforced BFP is getting annihilated over here. Absolutely beautiful. There's that big, slobbery, chunky looking, oh my god, over here. And guess what? It takes a lot of time. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, look at the pop count. It's not, not that big. All right, not a lot of pop count, but f even 50 damage per shot is actually not horrible. Um, considering that we stunned these guys so much that we popped it after the first run around here. That's says, oh my god, dude. They don't get much beefier than that. Biggest balloon in the game. Kind of. Gustavo likes Gusto very much. I had to look it up. It is it is Gusto, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Gusto. It's, that's what I see on the, uh, the interwebs. So just to confirm it. Um, we are doing pretty well. Uh, no major issues here overall. The big one, is, biggest one, excuse me, is doing a great job. The question is, is what do we get next? It clearly looks like we don't need anything else, but if we had to buy something else, what would we buy? And I gotta be straight with you, I think the answer is speed. Stunning power is clearly one of the major issues, major things that helps make the biggest one better. So getting more attack speed makes him stun more, which means the balloons are on the screen for uh, longer, giving us more time to actually truly pop them. So the best way to do that is to make sure we have a jungle drums and to make sure we have a call to arms. All of those things were not necessary, so it might seem like it took a long time for me to buy jungle drums and stuff like that, but it just wasn't necessary. But now we're going to have to start dealing with DDTs, and I'm a little afraid of the DDTs. I don't know how well this is going to go down. I'm really hoping, though, one overclock, one uh, called arms is going to be enough to take these puppies down. All right, round 90, DDTs. Let's try Let's try just overclocking for now. Oh, uh, it's not active yet. Um, just an overclock with DDTs. Actually quite functional. I will take that. Uh, I, I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. Biggest one, bro. Doing pretty good. I'm totally using Gusto in the completely wrong way. I, I just I just don't even care anymore, guys. So uh, one thing that I am, uh, I feel like I have an underdeveloped, uh, I don't want to call it vocabulary necessarily, um, but I, I, I don't use any huge words. All right, like I, in my life, I just don't think that they're usually necessary. All right. Uh, I don't specifically try not to use those big words or anything like that, but I just don't generally use them all that much, and I think it has something to do with my brain probably sucking. Um, I've never really been good at, I, I don't want to say I'm bad at words again, or bad at vocabulary. It's kind of like the wrong term. It's just, I'm like, why say big word when small word work better? <laughs> when small, small word work good? It, like, it just makes sense. Um, here we go, round 96, going strong here. Everything is going our way. We're almost at 1.5 million pops. Just a few more to go. And round 98 is going to be the big one for us. If we look at all the other guys over here, every, I think he's doing great. I mean, this I was really struggling in the beginning part of the game here. But as time went on, I realized I'm doing way freaking better than I thought, dude. Way freaking better. Now, at this point of the game, there are other options for us to do slowdowns like Ninja Sabo or Ice Tower or something like that. But if I don't need to use them, why waste your money on them? Um, I might I, I might actually at this point just say screw it and get a homeland defense for around uh, 100. It might be the best option for us. Check this out. This is freaking reinforced. Oh my god's getting taken down over here, dude. Whoa. That's freaking delicious. All right, let's actually let's micro this one a little bit too. Um, and I do want to save my abilities and make sure I have them back for around uh, 99 as well. Because that might actually be an issue. And then also 100% for around 100. That's going to be the problem round. For sure going to be the problem round. But luckily I've got a lot of pops to work with here. So I might be able to do just a quick spike storm or something like that. Take around a hondo. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is great to watch the pop gunk up. It's like, oh, oh, oh my God. 1.922. All right. I don't think 99 is going to be a major issue, but let's try doing no ability first. Let's try no. Uh, uh, I'm going to use the ability. All right. They're, they're getting pretty far. Ooh, they're starting to sneak through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, not horrible, not great. I don't have Homeland Defense money by $3,000. That sucks balls. Okay, I have no idea what to do here, but I definitely need something to take this thing down. So, uh, how many pops do I have? I have one. Okay, okay, I think that's okay. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're going to go for a quick Spike Storm with bigger stacks. I know that people hate that I don't get the White Hot Spikes, but it's just like, I just do it, dude. I, I don't know. just doesn't seem worth it. All right, let's just do two of those. Oh, my God. The Mortar's not even freaking attacking. Oh, dang. All right. The good news is this guy's popping pretty good. Bad news, we have to watch the pops a little bit because if I accidentally pop this guy too little, um, I might end up not getting enough pops. 
All right, Mortar. Go to town. Go to town, baby. Go to town. It's mostly about the balloons inside than the bad layer itself. All right, let's overclock again. Do I want to do a third spike storm? Let's do it. Third spike storm. Still not dead, though. Kind of freaking ridiculous. Um, we're definitely getting up there in pops. Oh, this could be this could be perfect timing. Check this out. Come on, get it going, get it going. I don't want this spike factory to steal too many pops, though. I gotta be careful. I can't believe it's wrapping around all the way back here, though. Okay, I need the right wet hot spikes now to pop the DDT layer. I was not expecting that. And I sprayed the sp- Oh my god! I almost lost. Oh, that would have been brutal, dude. Absolutely freaking brutal. For an idea. Mob Eliminator. 4,500. I could just, like, take this guy down pretty quick and just hope that I don't steal more than about 20-something thousand pops, and I, I should be good, you know? I mean, I can probably go up to about 30,000 if I really want to. We're up to 13,000 already. Let's do one more ability, and that'll just give us clear, easy way to say, screw it, we're gonna pop everything inside of the circle here without worrying about anything. Um, yeah, one more, one more, why not? Oh my god, it's still alive. I feel like it should be dead by now. He's got almost 20,000 pops by himself. Alright, DDTs. Alright, that's dead. We need another 20,000 pops to make this actually go through, though. I think Oh My God should give us 20,000 pops. I freaking hope so. I actually don't want the mobile Eliminator to hit these guys. It might be in range, though. Which is kind of sad. Oh, he's definitely hitting it. Oh, he's stealing more pops. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, 188, 1988, 89, 90, 93, 94, 96, 99, and 2 million! We've done it! 2 million and 6,000 pops. We probably could have done a little bit better if we really, really got hard on the micro, but dang, that feels good. It was definitely scary, though, because I, I could have easily just not gotten this number and just lost completely. All right. That was pretty exciting. I mean, I'm not saying that this was like the hardest thing ever or anything like that, but it was definitely exciting. It was kind of a fun way to play the game. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you press the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.